Listen. Look. Here comes Sky King. Sky King. America's favorite flying cowboy. Presented by America's favorite peanut butter, Peter Pan Peanut Butter. Yes, friends, this is the time to enjoy high adventure with Sky King. But first, let me remind you that any time is a good time to enjoy creamy, smooth Peter Pan peanut butter. It's extra good because it's extra fresh. So if you want the freshest peanut butter, get America's favorite peanut butter, Peter Pan. It's just 60 seconds old when you open the jar. And now your favorite flying cowboy, Sky King. day for flying. Sure is. Seems like there's, there's no one in the whole wide world except you and me and, and that little old car down there. logging camp. That's over the next ridge. Oh, hurry, Sky, please hurry. We just saw something terrible Are you down the road. You're the superintendent of the logging camp. Yeah, I'm Larson. What's up? We want to report an accident on the road a few miles back. An accident? A car went over the cliff. It looked like a small gray coupe. We saw it from the air. Holy right smoke, over... that sounds like old Charlie, our paymaster. Show me. Is there a doctor in Pineville? No, but I've got a phone in my truck. We can call the sheriff on the way. That's right, Sheriff. Yes, that's all we know. It happened about a half hour ago. Over. All right, Mr. King. We'll meet you at the scene of the accident. Over. Clear. We'll go. Sky King out. I think it's right around this next bend. I think it's right over there. Come on, I'll show you. Get your legs around me. 
That's it. Hang on to the cable. Uh, Are you ready? Take it away! Easy! Take it up! Easy, though! Hey, Mr. Hey, Mr. Hey, That's all right, Charlie. Penny, see if there's a first aid kit in the trunk. Right behind the driver's seat. Oh, yeah, I sure thought I was a corner that time. What happened, Charlie? Oh, that dang wild man shot right through my windshield. Wild man? Uh, John Turneau, he's an old hermit with a real grudge against all loggers. Hey, Sheriff! Charlie, what happened to you? It was a close one, sir. Where'd you find him? Just below the road. The wild man with that rifle of his. This time he was after the payroll. Did he get it? Not hardly. He's down there in that candy along with my car. You know, I'd been down there too if this here young fella hadn't come down there on that ledge you got me. Well, I'm Sheriff Penny. I'm Sky King. This is my niece Penny, Sheriff. Nice to know you, young lady. I sent one of my deputies by the lower canyon. Should have reached the wreck by now. Ah, there he is. What was the payroll in, Charlie? Essential. Hey, Reynolds! Reynolds! I found the car, Sheriff, but I can't find Charlie. Never mind Charlie, he's up here. But get the logging company's payroll out of the car. It's in a satchel. I just combed through the wreck. There's no satchel there. Well, looks like we got a payroll robbery case on our hands, Mr. King. You and Penny here will be important witnesses when we get our hands on that wild man. As far as I can see, we're all set then. I'll take the posse up the valley, and as soon as we drive the wild man up into one of the ridges, Sky can spot him from the air and direct us by radio. How do we know he'll cross one of the ridges? Well, he doesn't have much choice. This valley dead ends the top of the range. Oh, okay. You direct me from the ground. Who's that? Sven Grunstad, my foreman. You are straight about Charlie, Mr. Larson. I brought some of the boys to help you hunt. We're sick and tired of being shot at in the woods. Okay, Sven. The plan is to fan out and work from the bottom up. Mr. King here will fly above us and spot from the air. And let's get the posse going before that wild man gets away. I've been waiting to get a crack back at him. If we can take him alive, that's the way I want him. If you see him first, you get him the way you want him. If we see him first, you've got nothing to worry about except finding somebody to dig a hole. If you and your men want to help me find Turno good, as far as it goes, then, I'm keeping my eye on you. And I'll be able to watch you from the air, Sven. I sure hope we get to him before they do. You know, it only takes one sore head like Sven to get people off on the wrong track, especially if they're frightened or angry. Well, Mr. Larson, I wonder if you'd stay close to your radio. I may want to sit down and have you pick me up. Sure, all right. Okay. Well, I'm going with you, aren't I? Penny? You know, you're a pretty good nurse. Why don't you stay here and help make Charlie comfortable? Oh. I'll be back before dark. All right, but, but you better not fly too low. That wild man might shoot at you. Don't you worry. Listen to her, Skye. You're not dealing with an ordinary criminal. All right. Funny, a man in my condition ain't in a hospital. Charlie, if you needed to go to the hospital, the doctor would have put you in one. Well, if I ain't bad enough to be in a hospital, how come I ain't allowed to hunt that concerned lunatic? You answer me that. I wish I was running this operation. Charlie, <sighs> if you were in a hospital and, and the nurse came up to you and, and she said, uh, what would you like for dinner, what would you say? Some nice mountain trout. Like as not, they wouldn't have any. Well, uh, 
Are there any trout around here? Why, the best trout stream in these here mountains is just a hoot and a holler outside that door. Oh, what do you say we go fishing? Well, Penny, I can't walk. I'm a sick man. Of course, if you was to catch some trout, it wouldn't take much energy for me to eat them. Where's your tackle? <laughs> right over there in the corner. <laughs> All right. Sky King, this is the sheriff. Over. This is Sky King. Go ahead. Okay, Sky. Got about another hour before dark. Let's take the West Ridge. Over. We'll go, Sheriff. The West Ridge. Sky King clear and standing by. you do? That my friend, you heard him. You're the wild man. A uh, wild man only when people like you hurt my friends. You catch him in trap. How you like somebody trap you? I didn't set the trap. Honest, I didn't. How can you be so kind to animals and, and then shoot at poor Charlie and run him off the road? I know shoot a man on the road. You didn't? And you didn't steal the payroll? Charlie will never steal. <laughs> Look. Just tracks. Looks like he's heading toward the camp. Come on. You, you like animals, don't you? Oui. Oh, oui. Now, you can tell me. Didn't you shoot at Charlie while he was driving? I only shoot at men who chop down trees, hurt little birds and my animal friends. If, if you didn't shoot Charlie, uh, who did? You don't know. No care. Mr. Terno. Where were you this afternoon? Oh, Terno, he very busy with baby raccoon. Their mommy get killed when they cut down tree. Mm. I try to feed baby raccoon trout, but they need milk. Maybe it was an accident. No accident. They cut down tree, hurt my animal friends. Oh, baby raccoon too small, eat trout, need milk. Say, would they drink canned milk? We oui. no have canned milk, only have trout. They're coming. You better run fast. If they think you shot at Charlie, they'll kill you. Now, you meet me right here tomorrow morning, and I'll bring you some canned milk for your baby raccoons. Oui, you bring milk. Yes, first thing in the morning. Did you see the wild man? Uh, the, the wild man? Uh, sure, the snakes, they come right this way. Um, well, uh, uh, I thought I saw someone running down that way. Come on. That's why I told you that he went the other way. I didn't want you to kill him. Well, all I can say, Penny, is that's the most unusual thing I've heard in some time. Now, don't get me wrong, Sheriff. I don't blame the young lady. But the fact still remains. He almost killed Charlie, and he did get away with the payroll. I'm in favor of going along with the way Penny has it set up. I'm with you. And you, then stay put until we see if he keeps this meeting. Oh, sure. That's easy enough for you to say. You ain't been shot at by him, but I have, and so have the rest of my men. I'm going to turn in. I want to get an early start. The men are pretty riled up about this. That doesn't give them the right to forget the law. Penny, hmm? 
Are you sure this wild man will meet you in the morning as he promised? I know he will. Well, I hope he does, for his sake. Well, see you in the morning. Good night, Sheriff. Good night. Well, it gets light mighty early up here. Penny and I'll bunk where we can keep an eye on the songbird. We've got sleeping bags aboard. Uh, I wonder if we could borrow the truck to drive out there. Sure, the keys are in it. Thanks. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, Charlie. Good night, Charlie. I thought it was such a nice night, we ought to take a ride. Oh, come on now, Uncle Sky. Tell the truth. You won't let me get away with a thing, will you? Nope. Well, I have an idea that may prove itself. From what Charlie said, the bullet that shattered the windshield could have lodged in the seat. If my theory is correct, I'm going to need that slug. What theory? You'll see. Oh, Uncle Sky. <laughs> We pause to bring you a message from the makers of Peter Pan Peanut Butter. Our adventure will resume in just a moment. Say, who's our friend Johnny looking for? It's the mailman with a package for Johnny. And here's what was in that package. A genuine official Sky King Detecto Microscope. Isn't it a beauty? Now, boys and girls, this official Sky King Detecto Microscope that Sky King wants you to have comes complete with its own collapsible stand. And there are four clues that come with this microscope. Let's just put one of them, a piece of gold ore from a real gold mine, under the microscope and see what happens. It lets you see things you never could see otherwise. And you can look at lots of other things. Stamps, coins, fingerprints. Now, if you want to carry your Detecto microscope with you, just take it off its stand, put it in your pocket, and stamp right on it are the Flying Crown brand. Sky King's own secret code that you can use in sending messages. Now inside is an exciting secret compartment. And there's a secret map in the secret compartment. And here's something special. The inside of the eyepiece of the detector microscope glows in the dark too, so you can use it to send blinker signals with. Now kids, if you want a terrific Sky King detector microscope like this for your very own, you be sure to be with us just a few minutes later and have a pencil and paper ready so Sky himself can tell you where to send for your Detecto Microscope. I don't think he's going to show Penny. Oh, can't we wait just a few more minutes? We could, but I'm afraid those men up there won't. Mr. Larson, boys ain't gonna go back to work until we get to know. And just standing around, you know, is costing you lots of money. What do you say we go after him now? The sheriff's leading this posse. Yeah, well, he's right. Not till the sheriff gives the word. I'm sorry, Penny. It's not your fault. Now, we better start looking for him. Sheriff, something I want to show you before we go back. I dug this out of Charlie's car last night. Last night? But you might want to get a ballistic report on it. I'm afraid it won't tell us much of anything for a week or so, Sky. We just don't have any ballistic equipment in Pineville. Besides, we've got to find the wild man before we can check his equipment. I'll make another try to spot him from the air. Have Larson stand by with the truck. We may need him in a hurry. Sky, I think I should stay with the sheriff. You know, in case we find the wild man, I want to be able to tell him that we're all his friends. You do that, then. Okay. Had him by this time if you hadn't wasted half of the day waiting for him to surrender. If you and your men hadn't been waving your guns around, he'd probably come on in. Sky King the Sheriff, Sky King the Sheriff, come in, please. Go ahead, Sky, over. I think I have him spotted. I'm going in for a better look. There's a man with a rifle on top of a water tower just south of you. From Penny's description, it looks like Turno. Over. 
Well, what in the world would Turneau be doing on a water tower, over? It's the one spot in the whole area where he can keep tabs on everything that's going on. Over? He's probably laughing his head off at us. We'll head there, Sky. Over and out. Roger. I'll keep circling. Songbird out. Come on, boys. We got him treed. Hey, Ben. Sky King to Larson, come in, please. Larson, standing by. I'm landing in the large clearing near the water tower. Pick me up there, over. I'll be waiting for you. Over and out. Roger, Songbird out. Talk to Sky King first. Please let him. I promise. You should tell me you're my friend. You help me fight enemy. All they want are the answers to a few questions. Turno, not no answer to many questions. I think that rifle of yours will furnish us all the answers we need, if you'll trust me with it. Mm 
Sheriff, do you have that slug I gave you? Uh, yes. Got it. This rifle was made long before any of us were born. It's a breech loader, smooth bore. But that slug I dug out of Charlie's car has the marks of a modern rifle on it. Could I see Sven's rifle again, please? Sure. But we'll need a ballistics report before we can accuse anyone of this guy. Hold it right there, Sven! Sometimes a man accuses himself by running. I'll give you a lift in the truck, Sven. And maybe on the way to the county jail, you'll tell me where you've got that payroll hidden. I'll take the nose rifle. Now, Tanner, get gun back? Yes. But you've got to quit shooting at the loggers. It's their job to cut the trees. But the trees are home to Turno's friends. Here you are. I'll work out something with Larson so his men don't cut the trees your friends live in. Oh, good. Good. going this way. I thought the songbird was over there. I know it. I want to check up on our wild man before we take off. Hey, did you get Mr. Larson to agree to anything? I sure did. Turneau's going to tie white rags on all of the trees that are homes for his friends. That way the loggers will pass them up and everybody will be... <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Look! <laughs> In just a moment, we'll return to our friends. Meantime, let's listen to Sky King. Hi, gang. Well, fellas and girls, do you have your paper and pencil ready? Because I'm going to tell you how to send for your Detecto microscope. Golly, friends, this is a genuine 10 power microscope. You put a stamp or a clue or a coin under it, you see it much bigger. Why, it makes a marble look as big as a baseball. You can take this microscope out of its stand and see, here's the Flying Crown brand. My secret code. In here is a secret compartment with a secret map. And the eyepiece glows in the dark so you can signal with it. There are plenty of other wonderful features, believe me, kids. But now here's all you do to get a Sky King Detecto Microscope. Just send 25 cents and a piece from the label of a Peter Pan peanut butter jar. Then write your name and address on a piece of paper and slip everything into an envelope. And send your letter to Sky King, Box 3636, Chicago 77, Illinois. Got that address? Sky King, Box 3636, Chicago 77, Illinois. Hurry, send today. So long now. Sky Clipper and Penny may now be seen regularly on TV in a new series of adventure films. Be sure to watch for them. <laughs>